The Singaporean presidency priorities paper also mentions the need uh, for, to strengthen uh, best practice sharing uh, around the world. Yes. In practical terms, what do you see that as including and, and who is going to be involved in that? One of the things that I want to do during the course of my presidency is uh, what I call unleashing the inner potential of the organization. I'm looking at getting, you know, um, and inviting countries to essentially step forward and uh, contribute uh, by actively sharing their best practices in areas that they are strong in. So one of the things on a practical uh, level that uh, I'm looking at is getting countries to identify who their resource persons are as well for those specific areas and countries can then reach out to those resource persons and have the benefit of their knowledge, the benefit of their expertise. In relation to sharing best practices, yeah. do you see that uh, on both fronts? One as between law enforcement and other agencies in a given country and between countries, and also from the private sector side, what they can offer? When we look um, at tackling AML CFT globally, um, we need the key stakeholders to come together and talk about uh, the challenges that we commonly face and how we can uh, work effectively together. Uh, one of the ideas that um, I actually am pursuing is setting out a research agenda that FedEv has and then putting it out in our website so that academia can then take a look at what FedEv is uh, looking at, the knowledge gaps, the issues that we are grappling with. For FedEv, we have committed to um, having the private sector consultative forum. And this has worked very well for us, um, again, giving us the ability to connect with the private sector, to engage with the private sector, have that generative conversation, a deeper understanding of each other, perspectives, priorities, and how we can uh, then work together. Yeah. And again, this then creates bridges between different stakeholders and organizations, and it unlocks value it unlocks collaboration, it unlocks partnerships, and it unlocks the ability to get things done uh, that then makes a difference uh, at a global level. You mentioned uh, a number of aspects of public-private partnerships and the need for that to be ongoing. Yes. Do you see, therefore, a need that uh, it, there needs to be an institutionalization of good working relationships across the board as between governments, as between agencies, and as between the private sector in all of that? Is that something that you think will institutionalize and make more effective the overall global effort against money laundering and terrorist financing? Uh, definitely, uh, Rick. Um, I think it's important to have uh, ongoing sort of conversations, uh, not ad hoc conversations. And so when you have established platforms, for example, the private sector consultative forum, this provides an anchor point. Uh, yeah for mm -hmm. issues to be dealt with on an ongoing basis. I am not in favor of uh, you know, uh, ad hoc arrangements. I think a lot of these can actually be anchored uh, through forums mm -hmm. and through uh, dialogues which are, which are established. So a systematic approach. Indeed.